guys, um, most of my looks, I use my face and body paint that I get from sillyfarm.com, but I wanted to show you a look that can be achieved all from products from Walmart. Anyone could have access to these, and it's nice for last minute looks. So here we go. I wanted the white cream paint. I couldn't find it by itself, so I just got a cheap vampire pack. Don't need the teeth. I started using my paintbrush, but then I decided to switch to one of the mini beauty blenders. It just worked easier. So what I did was I got a little bit wet, I rubbed it in the cream, and then I just started sponging it on my face where I wanted all of the highlights and where I want the skull to be. I decided to go with a glam skull look because it's super popular. I've seen it um, shared around social media a ton, but it's really a simple, simple look. It just takes a little bit of time to put everything on the face, like the glitter and the jewels, but really it's a very basic skull, which can be achieved with any kind of product. So I'm taking a white eyeshadow and rubbing the sponge, same thing, and I'm just kind of blotting it over where I put the cream paint. If you've ever used this cheap Halloween paint, you know it's very greasy, um, so I'm just putting a powder over it to kind of set it and that way it's not it doesn't rub off as easy And also it's easier to blend over it now. I'm taking this wet and wild palette super cheap palette You just want to pick so I decided to go with purples and pinks So that's the kind of glitter I found and the eyeshadow so you could pick any colors, but I just went with this palette it was super inexpensive and I'm just using one of my paintbrushes. you could use any makeup brush, but um, this is all I had so I used this and just put it in the powder and then I just started taking the darks this is a dark purple and I'm gonna start contouring and putting underneath like where all the shadows are supposed to be instead of using black I'm using these dark colors because I'm not I don't want it to be just gray and white I wanted it to be more colorful now around the eyes I'm not making like a big solid line or a big black shape like a candy skull I'm more it's a glam skull so I'm doing it more like you would your makeup and just doing some shading around the eyes putting some shadow underneath the bridge of the nose and then back to the eyes again just kind of following the shape of your eye socket and your eyebrows not going above or below that you just want to keep it nice and tight to your natural eye shape now I'm just taking the colors of the eyeshadow, like the light purple and the pinks, and filling in the sockets of the eyes. I am not a professional makeup artist and do not claim to be, but I'm just an artist who fell in love with face painting and body painting. I think it's so fun. So I'm just showing you guys how I get these looks, and I hope that you elaborate and make these even better than I could have even imagined. Putting the color in the big gaps of the cheeks to like I said, I don't want it to be super dark. I want to keep it kind of colorful and fun. So I'm just doing all the shading with the color. I'm doing the purples now, like um, on the temples and the forehead. And then I'm going to come back with the darker colors and you just keep layering. crayons that came with the uh, vampire kit and it's just the black one I'm just gonna outline some of the very outside shapes so you could use like a black eyeliner or anything but I had this in the kit so I'm just gonna use it just trying to define the look and the shapes and adding a few details Black eyeliner pod. It was super inexpensive 
and it works great for like the black lining where I want smaller thinner lines where that crayon is too big I did put it on the inside of my lips to darken it and I'm telling you right now it was a mistake it like felt so gross on my lips all day so I would look for a black lipstick um, or uh, try to use something thinner not so greasy because it just felt so gross caked on my lips all day and I couldn't really put chapstick over it um, because it would have just smeared everywhere but it worked great for the eyeliner and small outlining things so everywhere besides the lips it was fantastic now I'm just taking the applicator and that white greasy paint again and I'm just putting back on the teeth over the black because I made them too flat so I wanted them to look more like teeth so I'm just putting white back on top of the black that I put there. So now I'm taking my black eyeshadow. I had this already but I did get it at Walmart. It's just a Maybelline black eyeshadow and I'm going where I want my darkest shadows um, or some a little bit more soft shadows like on the on the um, sides of the nose and inside the cracks and stuff. I'm just putting a little bit of the black. Not too much because like I said I don't want it to be too dark but I just want to darken it up a little bit. So that's the base makeup and now we start putting on glitter and jewels. So I'm taking eyelash glue and I'm just going to put a little bit on the areas that I want and then I'm just using glitter. Uh, this glitter was just out of the craft section, nothing special. This is just silver glitter out of a little tube. And I'm just pressing it on there. Now I'm going to use this glitter palette that I got out of the Halloween section. It's like chapstick with glitter in it. It feels so gross on. You could just use the glitter like I had before, just get more colors. That's probably a smarter um, idea because this stuff was a nightmare to get off. I think I took six layers of my skin off to get it off. And my little monkeys had to make an appearance. One monkey was at school and the other two are at home, so they're there always hanging out. Mama never gets a minute alone, but that's the great thing about being an artist is I'm, I'm making it work. Chips for the win, buy me another 20 minutes. Happy monkeys all around. Now back to work, um, just putting the eyelash glue down again and then putting the glitter on top. There's so many better products uh, for glitter, like I have a glitter glue that just feels like water and then it sticks the glitter it's so nice but um, they don't have that at Walmart so this is just what you can use it's a little bit hard to take off just like eyelash glue you just kind of got to roll it off your skin sometimes it pulls your hair but it's not too bad the worst part about taking this makeup off is that greasy glitter um, it was really really hard to take off so covering my forehead I'm gonna put jewels all there but I want to have a base of glitter and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my chest so you don't have to do this but I wanted a full look so I'm putting a little bit on my chest like the rib cage and then I'm just gonna make it glittery as well before you do the glitter I did the same process as I did my face so I put down that greasy paint and then I used the white eyeshadow to make it not as sticky and then I started with the glitter now using just a big jar of glitter that I got at Walmart and see, this stuff was already sticky all that stuff so I was just dipping my finger in it and just kind of putting it on my chest I didn't put anything down because it was already so greasy it just stuck to it now I put a little pile of the eyelash glue on my table and then I'm dipping the back of my brush. That's how you get perfect dots. So it's just easier than trying to put it in on individual jewels or putting the um, straight out of the applicator. So just put a little pile and then dip your brush. And I'm just put dots on my forehead and then I would grab some jewels and put them on and then repeat this process until you have as many jewels on as you want. So I covered my whole forehead and then I went to my chest. And I sped up this process for you. It's not hard, it just takes some time, so have a little bit of patience and anyone could do this. Now for the ones on my cheeks and my teeth, I saved the sparkly ones, so I got a little pack of Swarovski crystals and they shine and sparkle way more than just the cheap ones that I got out of a big bucket. Um, so those ones I saved for my cheeks and my teeth. 
um, just so that they were extra shiny. You could do your whole face with these, but they're a little more expensive, so it just comes in a small packet. And they're smaller, so I just used them for some accents that I wanted. The other jewels are just, a, I had a big jar of jewels from out of the craft section of Walmart, and they worked perfect for this look. So after you get as many crystals on as you want, you are done. Um, I finished with these and I just curled my hair, teased it up a little bit. And then I got these cat ears that were sparkly for $3 out of the uh, Halloween section. Put them on and there you have it. Just a glamour skull with kitty ears. Looks like glitter barfed all over you. Super fun, super easy, super cheap. Remember, if you like what you see, subscribe for more videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I will have descriptions of all the products I used below. And thanks for watching.